If you've ever tried to grab a lizard, you might have had this happen to you. But when lizards are going about their normal day, scurrying around, their tails stay firmly attached to their bodies. So lizards can actually break their tail along multiple points of their vertebrae, and the muscles around these areas, they fit together kind of like a plug-in socket. Scientists took these plugs and sockets under a scanning electron microscope, and they found that the plugs were made up of these bundles of mushroom-shaped pillars, and that tiny nanopores sat on top of these pillars. So to understand the role of these nanopores, researchers created these model tails made out of silicone patches and glass. And they found that the fake tails with nanopores were by far the hardest to pry apart. The tiny nanopores allow lizards to move their tail flexibly without shedding it. So when they need to, how do lizards actually ditch their tail? When gripped from above, lizards struggle to shed their tails. But when grasped by the far end of their tail, two species of lizards were able to bend their bodies and trigger a fracture that allowed them to peel their tails off. A computer model showed that relaxing their muscles beforehand probably helps these lizards initiate this escape mechanism. And luckily, after they drop their tail, they can grow them back as cartilage in the following weeks.